What's up guys? In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to sharpen a brand new piece of tungsten when you're gonna TIG weld steel. Now right here, I have a pack of 332nd tungsten from Weldcraft. This is the orange labeled kind. I'm not gonna get into the different types of tungsten and the different properties of what's in them, but uh, if you are kind of looking for that, I can tell you orange is a good one to go with. Some people prefer gray. Red used to be really big for welding steel. Uh, I'm sure people still use it. I believe red might be pure tungsten. Don't quote me on that. I did not look it up or do any research. But I can tell you that orange is a good all around one for a lot of purposes. It does work on both steel and aluminum, but today we're gonna to be talking about steel. So when you take one out of the pack, obviously it has a blunt end. And if you're like me and you use a ferret cup on your torch, I believe he only makes them to accept 332nd. So depending on how thin of the material and how small a filler rod you're gonna be using, you're gonna grind this to different points to get a different heat pattern. So here we are. This is just a standard bench grinder. This is what I use to grind mine because it's the only thing I have in the shop. Um, I worked for years in a shop where we ground them on a vertical belt sander and that worked fine. The technique is the same. You just want to kind of make sure whatever you're going to use to grind your tungsten on, you, I wouldn't necessarily want to grind aluminum on that piece, especially if it's a belt sander or wood. You want to keep that abrasive clean so you're not putting those contaminants into your tungsten. Now the biggest thing is the way you hold your tungsten. And since my grinder spins this way, I want to hold my tungsten vertically pointing down the same direction that the grinder is spinning to pull this way. I don't want to hold it like this, which would be putting grooves sideways. I want my grooves to go in the direction that my arc is going to be going. Some people hold their tungsten vertically to a grinder like this, which just seems dangerous to me. Now, if you have something like a piranha tungsten grinder that has a really fine diamond blade on it, those are going to grind sideways, which is fine because they're so smooth. The angle that you hold this at is going to depend on how thick your filler rod is and what material thickness you're welding. So you're just going to have to play with that yourself. When I have it ground to the angle that I would like, I point the tip straight at the grinder and barely touch it, the lightest I can possibly touch it, just to knock the very tip off. And that's it, that's what you end up with. The finer grit uh, abrasive you're using, the smoother the end is gonna be on your tungsten, which I think is beneficial. That's why those dedicated tungsten grinders use a really smooth diamond wheel that almost grinds and polishes to almost like a mirror finish. They're really, really nice. If I end up with any one of those types of dedicated tungsten grinders, I will be sure to make a review. And that's it. Like I said, that's just how I do it. Obviously, if you have one of those nice tungsten grinding machines, you don't even need to mess with this kind of technique. But uh, if you do it a different way and it works better than what I showed, let me know down in the comments below. And if you're new to the channel, I hope you stick around and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one.